Okay, so what is up guys? Uh, welcome back to another video that was shot by Kagan. Today, I wanted to show you guys quickly how I did the double exposure shorts in the last music video that I shot. Um, basically, this is what the double exposure looks like. So when I wake up in the morning, I know who God has blessed, no one can curse. Ah, pretty sick, I think. There's actually a bunch of methods to do this. There's actually a method that involves using the Luma key and whatnot, but that method is just unnecessarily difficult. Uh, today I want to show you like the easiest way to get this done. And without wasting any more of your time, let's just get right into it. Uh, right here you can see that I've put some raw footage straight from the camera on here. Uh, you can see the imperfections on the backdrop. Uh, I wanted to use footage that had imperfections because, well basically in case you have the same problems, I wanted to show you how you'd fix them in that case, how you'd be able to fix them and you know, get the best out of your footage. So this is the footage that uh, I want to do the double exposure on. This is going to be the main footage and this is going to be the footage that's going to be in the back. Uh, this is basically just a pot of fire as you can see. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to be mixing it with another footage from the same shoot with two of these guys dancing basically. Uh, obviously I'm going to have to color this to make it look better. This is straight out of the camera like I said, uh, Cine like D. Um, so yeah, without wasting any more of your time, let's just get right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to select the main footage, which is this. Uh, you're going to come into uh, your settings, uh, your effects, sorry. You're going to come into your effects tab. You're going to select color, choose the black and white and just slap it on there. Just drag and drop. Great. Now that the footage is black and white, you can see it looks weird now. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to your coloring board. You could just press command six or, you know, yeah, command six would do it. Or you could just come and click the button up here. Um, the next thing that you want to do is pull down the exposure for the shadows. So the blacks are a little blacker and you want to take up the exposure for the highlight so that the imperfections completely disappear. You see that? You see that? Exactly. So now it's a completely white background, so there's not going to be any misunderstandings. Uh, when you feel like you're satisfied with what you have, then you can basically just stop. Uh, after you do this, after you do this, the next thing you want to do is drag the footage that you want in the background of uh, your hacked on top of the main footage. Uh, just crop that a little bit so it's the exact same fit. Uh, when you've done that, uh, you want to come into the tab over here. This is the settings tab. Uh, you want to change the blend mode. Uh, basically what this does is, uh, basically what you want to do right now is you want to lighten the footage, something like this. Now, when you lighten the footage, this is what it looks like. Now it doesn't, it doesn't look as good as what I showed you at the beginning, which is this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get to that point, basically. Now we want to take the second footage. Now, please note, you don't have to use two; just one could be enough. But I personally like to use two because, you know, it's just it, it looks way better because I can mix a bunch of things and then it can look like super unique. Uh, it doesn't look boring. Uh, you want to lighten this one as well. Okay, so now everything looks fine. But here's the problem with this, yeah. Uh, the footage that we're using is straight out of the camera. It's not colored, so it looks a little bit hot. Um, I already have my color grading in an adjustment layer here, so I'm just going to copy that. and I'm going to place that on top of here and I'm going to drag it to fit. And now we can look at the footage again and see what it looks like. You see that? You see that? That is amazing stuff. That looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, so basically that's how you do that's how you do a double exposure shot 
in Final Cut Pro X really quickly and you don't really have to do anything else. You can try this with all sorts of footage. You can try it with drone footage in the back. You can try it with, like I just did, just random footage that I shot for the shoot. Uh, yeah, and you know, make sure you color correct. You had some color and make it look nice. That's like the best way to make this look good. Uh, I hope this saves you some time and you don't have to go learning how to use luma keys to do your double exposures uh thank you so much for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe i will see you guys on another video that was shot by kagan peace